All right, this is your brother Aisha Yar coming at you with another lesson. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of the great millstones to learn his truth from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth with their truth and sincerity. And shalom to the aqua that's listening and learning. Today's video is going to be entitled Famine of the Word is Coming. All right. Famine of the Word is Coming. Now, I got inspired to do this lesson because I recently just received a strike on my main page, which is Aisha Yari Yasharala 7. And uh, pretty much, I kind of figured it was going to happen. I didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal with the content that I was using. But I guess, you know, it, it did. It got to Esau. <laughs> and he gave me a strike. So I can't upload on that channel for a week. So I'll be going back to uploading on there uh, next weekend. So uh, until then, I'll be uploading it on here. And I definitely will be sharing this page once my other page is done going through his, uh, <laughs> his, his many pri uh, prison sentence, then I'll let everybody know about this channel. So then just in case something happens again, you know, this would be my backup channel, you know, for the time being. But anyway, uh, that happened. So I was just like, okay, well, I can't upload on that channel. And then I've been seeing a lot of brothers lately. They're starting to receive strikes again. And um, pretty much just like other brothers been saying, you know, famine of the word is coming, man. It's getting to the point where, Esau is now working again, taking brothers' videos down that they uploaded a year or so ago. Videos that have been on there for days, man, all right, months, going on years. Now they're going back all the way through brothers' older videos, and they starting to, uh, they starting to take those uh, videos down. Other brothers are receiving strikes for whatever reason. And it's, you're getting to the point where, you know, uh, we're seeing things being turned up. But then the spirit of you, how about showing y'all shy, man? All right. It's getting to the point where, you know, we will no, no longer go out on the highways and the byways. We'll no longer be able to upload these videos on YouTube. Something's going to happen to the point where we won't be able to bring out this word anymore. And the reason being is because we already know this is getting to Esau. You know, he does not want this truth to be out here and it's making him angry. That's why he's getting ready to bring that great wrath. He's setting everything up. And that's ultimately Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai setting everything up because uh, it's it's getting ready to be judgment time, man. All right. It's getting to the point where it's like, look, either you get this word right now or that's it. If you don't receive this word right now, then it's a done deal. All right. The time is closed. We only got a couple of more. <laughs> there's, a, there's a little bit more sand that's left in that clock, man. All right. And that hourglass there's only a little bit left. So you got to get this word while you can. All right. So this is going to be a short lesson. Uh, we're going to get Amos chapter 8, verse 11. It says, Behold, the days come, said the Lord power, that will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. All right. An actual famine is going to happen over here in America and across, you know, a lot of other places in the world. All right. But um, ultimately, you know, this word is not going to be out here. And a lot of people will thirst and be hungry for this word once they realize that they can't find it, okay? Because once they actually see shit hitting the fan, then that's when they're going to remember us bringing out this truth. They're going to be looking for us. They're going to be looking for anybody who knew the names of the Most High and His Son. They're going to be looking for anybody who knew about this because they're going to remember everything that we said. They're going to remember that we, they, we told them it was going to be a famine. We told them martial law was coming. We told them that the internet was going to be shut down or whatever the case may be. We don't know how it's going to play out because the internet may actually still be up for people who um, just want to use it on a regular basis without, you know, accessing this. It might just get to the point where as soon as you even try to upload a video bringing out the truth, they'll instantly just be like, nope, they'll shut it down or they, you know, they'll get to the point where they'll charge you. We, we don't know. You don't know. We don't know how it's going to play out, but... According to the scripture right here, we do understand that the Most High is going to make something happen to the point where we won't be able to bring out this word anymore. All right. So verse 12, it says, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north, even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. Yeah, this is going to be two thirds of our people who's going to want to hear this word again because they're going to understand that we were telling them the truth. That's why the scriptures say 
uh, then they will understand that a prophet has been among them, roughly paraphrasing, all right? They're going to be like, damn, those dudes that we were talking shit about and ignoring and all of these different things, calling them crazy, they're going to realize we were the real ones out here, man. We was trying to give y'all the warning. Well, not trying. We were giving you the warning, all right? And they're going to realize that and they're going to uh, seek and find this truth, but they won't be able to find it. So you got to find the Lord right now while he's still available. And how do you know that he's still available? Through us. Because he put the Holy Spirit through us, started with the apostles on down to bring out this word. So whenever you get a chance, yeah, get, when you get on your phone, your tablet, your, your computer, your laptop, you know, whatever. The, the truth is here, man. And even on the highways and the byways. We out here, man. You know, receive this word while you can. Because, like I said, there's going to become a time where a lot of people will fit this scripture. It says, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. They're going to be thirsty to hear this. They're going to be like, damn, things are going down. I need a way out. And they're going to realize what we've been saying is the way out. And that's through the Lord. But uh, when that time happens, we're not going to be around, man, because we already know what's happening. The scriptures tell us we're going to be like pilgrims in the earth, right? So as soon as we see things going down, we gone. <laughs> we're not trying to be out here getting called by Esau. We're going to be out moving about, waiting on the Lord to come back to get us up out of here. So, yeah, you got to receive this word while you still can, man, because if not, that's it. But we already know through the... Um, through the scriptures, the majority of our people will not understand this, and they don't want to understand this. They're going to continue to live, con, um, continue to live the way that they want to live, you know, all the way until things hit the fan. And then, as soon as they uh, see that, <laughs> they're going to start seeking, but they will not find the Lord, man. This is Proverbs chapter eight, verse thirteen. It says, "The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy, and the evil way, and the forward mouth." Do I hate? All right. This is what we always say. You got to fear the Lord. Once you start fearing the Lord, then everything else falls into place. Falls into place. So like you, all right? All you got to do is be afraid of the Lord, which you should, which is healthy for you. Because as soon as you start doing that, you receive instruction, you start bettering yourself, you start examining yourself, and you start doing things according to the way that the Lord told you to do it. And that ultimately will get you salvation in life. It says the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. That's right. Evil is this world. Everything within this world is evil. That's why the scriptures tell you, love not the world, neither the things that are in it. Okay? Because everything that's in it, um, they love. Everything that's in it will get you death. Because everything that's in it is lies, deceit, pollution. All of these things will kill you, literally. Okay? It'll kill you spiritually and physically. And it says, an arrogancy and an evil way and a fraud mouth do I hate. Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. By me, kings reign and princes decree justice. By me, princes rule and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. I love them that love me and those that seek me early shall find me. Right now, this is the time to seek him, which is early right now. But it's getting to the point where midnight is on the way. It says, I love them that love me. How do you love the Most High? By following his commandments, statutes, and laws. Doing exactly what this Bible tells you to do. All right? Because, like I said, there's still a lot of people that understand this truth, but they still got one foot in the world. They still out here getting ready to celebrate Halloween. Thanksgiving is coming up. Christmas is coming up. New Year's is coming up. All right? Here it is. We got all, all of these uh, rumors of wars building up. You see what's going on between these different countries right now. And Jake's still out here saving up money to buy Christmas gifts and turkeys. <laughs> they still out here getting ready to celebrate these lies and these deceits, these wicked ass holidays, man. In order for you to find life, you got to love the Most High by following his commandments, statutes, and laws. And he'll love you back if you do that. That's all the Most High wants at the end of the day, man. He gave us the way of life. He gave us the commandments. He gave us the statutes. He gave us the laws. He said, look, if you follow these, I'll bless you. Just like he says in Deuteronomy the uh, 28th chapter, uh, uh, verses 1 through 15. He said, if you do this, man, I'll bless you forever. Forever. But he said, if you don't do this, I'm going to curse you. Now look at us, man. Look at us. 
we deserve everything that we're going through right now because we continue to not follow these commandments, statutes, and laws. That's why it's going to be a beautiful thing to finally receive those new bodies. We can actually worship the Lord perfectly, all right? And that's why it says right here, and those that seek me early shall find me, okay? You got to seek him right now because there will become a time where you won't be able to find Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You won't be able to find this word, all right? It's going to be too late. And that's the worst thing, man, being too late, having that, damn, I should have did this, I would have did that, I could have did that. You don't want that mindset, man. You just want to be already confident in the spirit. Soon as things go down, you're you going to be like, yep, let's go. I've been doing what he told me to do. That's why the scriptures say, he that endured until the end shall be saved. We're going to be comfortable, so to speak, because we know exactly what to do. Everything that we see in around us, we're going to be like, yep, this is prophecy unfolding. This is this scripture. This is that scripture. And that's actually a video that I'm going to make, Lord willing, in the future, because I was just watching one of the apostles' uh, old school videos, and Apostle Guevara was going into that, because he was like, uh, when things hit the fan, he was like, man, a lot of people are going to be freaking out. A lot of people going to be bugging out. You know, they're going to be screaming. They're going to be in fear. They're going to be like, man, how come these police buildings are burning up? How come the downtown areas are on fire and people are just dying left and right? He was like, us? We're going to be looking at things different. He was like, exactly what I just said. He was like, man, we're going to be like, well, that's this prophecy being fulfilled. That's that prophecy being fulfilled. We're going to see exactly what we've been reading this whole time. And all we got to do is stay out the way, Lord willing. All we got to do is endure no matter what um, situation the Most High puts us in, whether it's us leading into us becoming martyrs or us just staying alive until the chariot show up. Either way, all we got to do is just keep remembering and fearing how about showing you how shy we will be good. So you got to seek the Most High early if you really want to be saved, man. You got to seek him early. You cannot call upon him when you see that you're in danger, he's not looking for those type of people, man. He's looking for the strong ones. He's looking for the people that's going to believe on him while things are in a calm state, so to speak. It's a Psalm chapter 37, verse 29. It says, The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever. The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom, and his tongue talketh of judgment. The law of his power is in his heart, and none of his steps shall slide. The wicked watches the righteous and seeketh to slay him, all right? This is what's going on right now. This is why we can't upload, you know, uh, certain videos. We can't say what we want to say because Esau is watching us. Who is the righteous? The Israelites. Speaking to you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The wicked is Esau, the so-called white man. It says the wicked watcheth the righteous and seeketh to slay him because ultimately this is what he want to do to us. He wants to get us out the way, all right? He wants to kill us. <laughs> he don't want us to even exist. That's why That's why he's getting ready to bring out the MOTB, which is the microchip. He's getting ready to bring that out because he already knows as soon as everybody takes that, they have no way of getting back to the most high. Point blank, period. All right. And then ultimately, yeah, he do want to commit the ultimate genocide on you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. He want to get rid of all of you because he knows if he does that, then he gets his birthright back. But through the spirit, that's not going to happen because prophecy has to be fulfilled. And we already know, according to the scriptures, Esau loses at the end. There's, a, there's plenty of scriptures that tells us that tells us when Yahweh Shai comes back, he's chaining up all of these heathen nations. They're going into slavery. That has to be fulfilled. All right. So we already know that he's going to lose. He's going to try to get rid of us, but he won't. Because just like the scriptures say again, the elect is predestinated. The Most High is going to save a small remnant of his people. All right. But this is one of the reasons why we can't upload videos because he's watching us. All right. They own everything. When we upload these videos on YouTube, they watch these videos. They don't just, you know, be like, oh, uh, look at the read the title and then say, and then they read the title and then be like, okay, just get it off the internet and give them a strike. They don't do it like that. They actually watch these videos because they connect with it. And the reason why they connect with these videos is because they understand that this is their future. And a lot of them behind the scenes, they're listening to what we're saying and they're becoming nervous, man. Beyond nervous. They're becoming scared. They seeing the things that we're talking about is happening and they already know these things are, are supposed to happen. And they like, damn, man, I don't like this. 
They don't like this, man, because they already know their future is nothing but damnation and chains. <laughs> so they watching us, man. But that, like, you know, like we always say, you can go ahead, you know, take down all the videos you want, man. Take down all the videos you want because the most I already sealed the elect through the spirit. We just out here activating them with the word. So we get one last scripture and close it out. We're going to get Isaiah 55 and 6. It says, once again, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. You got to call upon who? Mike Jones. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but you got to call upon Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. All right. You got to call upon the, the true names, the correct names. All right. If you call upon any name, you're going to be, that's, that's it for you, man. All right. So it says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. He is near right now because we're able to upload these videos. We're able to go out to the highways and the byways. You can leave comments. You can come out on the streets, ask questions. Understand this truth. Understand this Bible, the way that it's presented to you. And then after that, it's, uh, you good. Lord willing. As long as you believe in this sincerely. It says, verse 7, it says, Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. So this is the whole thing, man. You repent, all right? You forsake your wicked ways, all right? Everything that you have learned of this world, you let it go. You let it go, all right? It says, and the unrighteous man, his thoughts, all right? Everything that you used to think about, you let those things go, man. You start turning into that new man. You put off the old man, you put on a new man, like the scriptures say. And it says, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. As soon as you return unto the Lord sincerely, and you seek him while he may be found, you call upon Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, okay, he'll have mercy upon you. And this is what you're going to want. You're going to want this, man, because like we always say, Apostle Gabar said in the video too, like I said, Lord willing, I'm going you know, to show you all what I'm talking about. But he was like, man, just continue to do this work. Continue to do this work and continue to believe because as soon as everything crashes, this is where you're really going to be like, I need the Lord. And the only way that you know that you can get the Lord is if you did what you were supposed to do beforehand. All right. As soon as you get into a dangerous situation, what you going to do? First thing we're going to do, call upon the names. We're going to call upon the names and then we're going to let the most high work. Because that's what the Most High is here for. That He wants to protect us. He wants us to make it. He wants us, you know, to be great. He wants us to get to the point where we're good. But he said, the only way that I'm going to be here for you is if you believe on me and start, you know, forsaking your wicked ways and start doing what I told you to do. It's all you got to do, man. It's not, you know, <laughs> it's not that simple for a lot of our people. But, you know, hopefully for us, the hopeful you like. We understand this, man. So we're going to do what the Most High told us to do. And Lord willing, he have mercy upon us. So you got to see the Lord while he may be found, man. All right. It's going to get to the point where, you know, this word is not going to be out here. You won't be able to find it. And as soon as that day comes, either you're going to feel confident or you're going to tremble. Choose, <laughs> choose your path, man. Choose your path. Let this world go. This world is getting ready to pass away. This world is getting ready to pass away, man. So... Seek Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah while you can, and Lord willing, you'll be all right. So I hope this is edifying. So with that, I'm saying, call Halayim Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the great millstone, which I learned this truth from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth with their truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Aqua that's listening and learning. And Yahweh Ratazah, I'll be back with another lesson. Keep pushing, y'all. Keep pushing, Yasharala. Keep pushing. We almost out of here. Shalom.